Hello, hello, and thank you for joining me in my first video and series of behind the scenes of audio lesson plans. Um, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for more videos as they come, as they're being made. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Applied Knowledge, and I'll be sure to put all the links in the descriptions. That way you have all the correct spelling and all that stuff. Uh, also, if you're an artist and need music for your project, please visit my webpage at www.appliedknowledgeproduction.com. That will also be at the end, uh, at the bottom in the description. Um, today, we're going to be talking about compression. And, you know, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. Uh, this won't be an in-depth learning or advanced training tutorial, nothing like that. So everything will just be uh, kind of just definitions and uh, I'm going to put in put them into my own words to make it a little more simpler for you if you're a beginner or even if you're advanced if you just really don't understand the technical terms behind a lot of that stuff because it can be pretty confusing and frustrating at the same time so um yeah so I'll be uh, specifically focusing on um, ratio threshold and gain reduction and yes this there will be a second part to this that will be a little more in-depth but uh, for part one, we're just going to leave it crispy, clean, uh, simple. Just leave out all the extra fancy, wancy stuff. So, all right, what is compression? Uh, compression is when you take something and you squash it down. So, for example, we got a soda can. See the soda can? If you stomp on this soda can, compression is just taking place. Plain and simple. Um... Uh, so there are many different um, parameters to compressors. You got ratio, threshold, gain, uh, attack, release, and need. Um, for this lesson, we'll just be focusing on, like I said, ratio, threshold, and the gain reduction. Um, keep in mind that you do need all these parameters to work with one another uh, in order to get the uh, desired effect that you that you you need or that you want um, on your instruments or whatever you're doing for your production. Uh, so one is not more important than the other. They all have to work together. Um, so before we can begin using compression, uh, it's best to know when you need to use compression. So um, these are the examples I'm going to give you are my own personal um, thoughts and beliefs of when you should use compression. Uh, when a sound is sticking out too far in the mix, uh, if a sound is quiet at some parts but then spikes, uh, if you're looking for a more aggr aggressive, tighter, fuller sound, um, if some distortion or clipping occurs. And then there are instances where you don't need compression at all. So it's really about um, what you're trying to achieve and just using that, uh, using your ear. So first one we'll dive into is ratio. So what is ratio? Uh, ratio is the amount of attenuation to be applied to a signal. So another word for attenuation would be reduce. So, in other words, the more ratio applied, the more a signal will be reduced or the quieter it'll get. Um, now, like I stated before, all these other parameters do come into play at this stage. So, in order to get that desired effect that you're looking for for your music production, um, depending on the type of compressor you use, you'll be able to adjust the ratio in different ways. Um, and what I mean is some compressors will only allow you to choose between 2 to 1, 4 to 1, 6 to 1, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, or 20 to 1. And while others uh, will allow you to go in between those, such as 3 to 1, 5 to 1, 7 to 1, 9 to 1, so on and so forth. And uh, one example of that would be the Fruity Compressor off of uh, Fruity Loop Studio, which is what I use. I don't use specifically use that compressor, but that's just a prime example. Uh, so getting to an example, what does ratio two to one mean? Uh, uh, one important thing to know is that these ratios are expressed in decibels. So just keep that in mind. Um, so two to one represents for every two decibels above your threshold, it'll be reduced by one dB at the output or one dB will come out. And it's the same for all the other ratios. Don't think about nothing else. Stop right there. We're only talking about what does the the ratio mean. 
no no formulas equations fractions none of that leave all that stuff out that will be for part two or part three or however many videos it takes uh, until you fully get an understanding of each of what each parameter is first so again uh, what does two to one ratio mean two to one represents that for every two decibels above your threshold it will be reduced by one db at the output or one db will come out don't think about nothing else stop that's it that's all you need to know every two decibels going in one is coming out that's it just Plain and simple. That's that's what it means. All right. So moving on. Threshold now. So what is the threshold? This says how loud a signal has to be before the compression is applied. In other words, if you set your threshold as say negative 15 dB, the signal has to cross negative 15 dB for the compressor to start compressing. If it does not pass negative 15 dB, nothing is going to be compressed. So, plain and simple, just that's all it is. Like I said, nothing in depth, no advance, nothing, not yet. Um, so moving on, gain reduction. Gain reduction shows how much the compressor is restricting the signal or preventing, or preventing it from getting as loud as it would have if you weren't compressing it. So some compressors have a gain reduction meter, which tells you, while others don't. Um, in other words, depending how hard you're compressing a signal, your gain reduction will will tell you how many decibels you compress compressed. Knowing that you you can begin using the makeup gain knob to compensate. I'll read that over because I stuttered a little bit. So gain reduction. In my own words, depending how hard you are compressing a signal, your gain reduction will tell you. Um, how many decibels you compressed and then you can use the makeup gain knob or gain whatever it says to compensate or to bring it back to that uh, level that it was originally at so um, plain and simple you know not too uh, not too uh, heavy for you um, I hope it helped uh, if you have any questions, if I can make something a little bit clearer for you, please hit me up, drop a comment, uh, shoot me an email, appliedknowledgeproduction at gmail.com. Um, yeah, or just hit me up on some of the social media uh, handles that I have left down for you in the description. Once again, thank you for watching this video and taking the time to, um, yeah, check it out. And, um, yeah, hopefully it helped. And, uh, um, yeah. <laughs>